Warning, sensitive content. Mr. Johnson is not only good for England, but good for the world. Yes, yes Mr. He's one of uh, the members of the positive force. Yes. Right. I would not resign if I were him. Tell him to walk back. <laughs> yes. Because he's good for England and good for the world as well. Good for democracy. Yes, for sure. Yes, true, Master. Uh, I hope he will rethink it. He should stay. Please continue watching to find out more. On Sunday, July 10th, 2022, our most cherished Supreme Master Ching Hai graciously called Supreme Master Television team members, kindly asking about their well-being and sharing her wisdom on some recent news from the United Kingdom as reported by the team. Shining World Leadership for Caring Award Laureate, His Excellency Boris Johnson's resignation as Prime Minister, and Her Royal Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's support of new animal people protection laws. Master, we have something to report. Tell him. Boris Johnson resigned on July 7th as uh, Prime Minister. Yeah, I know that. I know that. <sighs> and what did he do? To deserve his uh, early uh, retirement? A number of ministers had resigned, and um, there, there had been some accusations that he ignored that an advisor who had some allegations against him regarding making unwanted sexual advances, that he knew that he had a history of doing that and that he didn't do something about it. And so he had to apologize for appointing that person, and, but others were upset about that. And so many uh, of his uh, colleagues resigned and that uh, precipitated his resignation. Uh -huh. So these are the sins, yeah? The crime committed. Yes. I mean, not he committed, but what else? Party gate, I guess. Yeah, Master has talked about this, actually, that somebody just tried to give him a birthday cake and they made a big deal about it in the media that he was violating the COVID protocols and things like that. I know. They're working together in the same office. Yes. At number 10 Downing Street. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. So it would be terrible if you don't come and say to your boss, happy birthday. Yes, Master. Well, he should have thrown the cakes away then. <laughs> <laughs> then there would have been more people who resigned <laughs> <laughs> for being rude or impolite or ungrateful. Mm, yes, yes Master. Yeah, sometimes people give you things, and if you don't accept, people get upset. That's true. Many people were so upset with me because they want to give me money, they want to give me land, and I refused them all. Mm. And they got some angry outright. Oh. oh, yes. Why? Why? Huh? Why didn't you accept the land? I want my son to be your monk. And that's why I give this land. I say, your son is not accepted yet, for example. Yes, yes Master. Master. And the land, we don't need it right now. And up there, shouting, you know? Mm. Yelling, yeah. Mm. Oh. And uh, one time somebody gave me something. I say, okay. She say, it's good for me in that and this uh, title of medicine. Uh -huh. So I say, but how much is it? And she pulled a face at me. Oh. <laughs> And oh. wave the hand, you know, very strongly, like, ah. Oh. Then I had to accept it. Oh, yes, yes, Master. But then I gave her something else later. I see. Sometimes it's difficult to refuse people's courtesy and kindness. That is yes, true. Master. Yeah, because they meant it. They meant well. It's just that if, if I accept the one uh, gift here and some money there, then it will continue forever. Yes, Understood. that's right, Master. So and I said to that person who gave me the medical gift for the eyes, okay. You must accept something for me later, so everybody else knows about it, at least. Yes, Master. Sometimes they give it openly, sometimes alone. Not alone, but I'm passing by, not too many people there. Mm -hmm. They don't know, but mostly people see. It's very difficult to be in a political position. Yes. I guess uh, Mr. Johnson knew about these uh, sexual advances. That's what they say, right? He knew, right? Yes. Maybe he knew after or before, I don't know. But Probably because this person is talented. Right. They probably have a good uh, mind, a good intelligence. And Mr. Johnson probably needed it. Yes, yes. But then probably he told him, don't do it again. But how can you tell another person not to do it again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see? that's right. Yes, yes. Yeah, probably he trusted that person now in that position will not do such uh, sexual advances again, but maybe he continued. 
Right. I mean, it was the past. I don't know what happened. Mm-hmm. I guess it's very difficult. Yes, yes Master. You see, the English people watch too much James Bond movies. Oh. Yeah, James Bond always has a girlfriend or mistress, always some woman around. He's always having this physical pleasure with some woman on his mission. Yes, Master. Mm. Sometimes because of duty, sometimes not. Mm, yes, Master. And uh, that is something I don't like too much about James Bond. Mm. Yes. I like other parts, but not a lot, because there's always destruction. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Always bombing, uh, killing, even though maybe with a good cause. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe it's just the movies. They want to dramatize it. They need to make it more dramatic. Yes, right. Master. And uh, this is maybe that's what it is. So they just uh, take it for granted that some sexual advancement is nothing. I mean, I don't know what he did. We didn't rape anybody. Maybe just trying, flirting. Mm. So it depends on how grave this uh, sexual advancement is. That's true. And if people don't like it, then it's Johnson just mistake, has to change it, I change a person immediately at the time that people complain. Oh, right, Master. Yeah, but he didn't change. That's a mistake that he made. Yes, yes Master. Master. It may have been a mistake to appoint that person into government office, but maybe it was with the warning to not do this again for the government's sake. Right. Yes, yes Master. Master. That person maybe promised him, but then underneath or behind him, he was still doing something. And I don't know if they complained to Johnson or not. Mm, yes, Master. Until later. It was too late or something. Mm. If they did complain, then all he has to do is just change it. Change the person. Correct, Master. Fire him. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. And ask someone else to come in. Yes, yes Master. Master. But maybe Johnson needed him because he has good advice or something. You never know. It's very difficult to find a good person that you're compatible to work with and has intelligence, has the talent that you need. I suffer a lot also because many people have talent but have big ego. And it makes a lot of trouble for me. A lot of times. A lot of times. Yes, Master. All these decades I suffer also. Of course, I can always change a person, but it's not always better. Mm, yes, Master. Yes, Master. Well, at least they don't do these kinds of things. Not the sexual advancing. Yes, Master. Just the uh, ego, doing the opposite of what I asked, or just adding uh, his own uh, opinion, thinking he knows better than me. Maybe he knows better, but in some other areas, not what I ask, things like that. So it's very difficult to be in the seat of the leader and have everything you need. A long time ago, there was a prime minister of China. I forgot his name. Could be Quan Chong, no? The king has many other officials. And they also have this and that and other defects. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. But uh, the Prime Minister said, yes, but that's all the defects they have. The rest is good, because you cannot always have a 100% perfect person. Yes, yes Master. That's right. So he continued to use them. But maybe it was not as bad as Mr. Johnson's situation. Yes. Politics is a very, very bad arena, whether you are good or bad. Yes, yes Master. I'm glad you don't want to be any politician. Do you? No, no, no not at you. all. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> thank God. At least uh, you are same, like me. <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, it's difficult to work. So about the party gate, I- I'm not sure how big the party was. I'm not sure how Mr. Johnson could refuse all these people who came and wish him well on his birthday. Because they work in the same place. Yes, Master. Just a step uh, next door and open the door and uh, the boss is there. Mm, right. So maybe they came together in the whole office and wish him happy birthday and maybe, by the way, they had a drink or have a cake. <laughs> yes, Master. The cake was not even open and eaten yet <laughs> at that time when he was interviewed. Yes, yes Master. Master. I mean, after they already accused him of the party gate. Mm-hmm. If they did make a party, then maybe they made a little mistake, but it wasn't a big deal. Mm, yes, Master. It's no big deal. Yeah. They worked together in the same office, just like... Christmas or New Year, I give you some cakes, some drinks. Yes. All vegan, yeah? Yes, yes that's thank right. you, Master. No alcohol campaign, and vegan cakes, and you stand together and say, thank you, Master. <laughs> yes. yes, Master. But you work in the same place. Yes, right. that's right. But we have a little difference, is that none of you are going out anywhere. Hmm. Or going back to family and coming back and forth, not like that. Yes, correct, Master. All of you stay in the same place and don't go out. And whenever you have to go out for any reason, then you are... Uh, in prison for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll bring food to you. 
<laughs> can't even go to the kitchen to get food. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, yes. So maybe it's a little different there. At number 10, down in Prime Minister office, and people, their employees, they go to work and come back and go home. Mm-hmm. Yes, right, Master. They are not quarantined inside. But as a habit in the social background of our world, people always come and congratulate or say or happy birthday to their boss. Yes, they do. So maybe they forgot about the lockdown. Oh, yes, Master. That's all, okay? You know, when you think, oh, today is his birthday, and they just jump in, you know? <laughs> I forgot to think. Yes. It's no big deal. Yes, right. Master. It's true. It's not really a big crime that he committed here. Mm-hmm. That's yes, right, Master. Master. The only crime is that advice of a with sexual advancing character. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, Master. And all they have to do is just change that guy to please the other workers. Right. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yeah, and apologize for the party if they did have. I understand the anger that many will feel that I myself fell short when it came to observing the very rules which the government I lead had introduced to protect the public. And I accept in all sincerity that people had the right to expect better. And now I feel an even greater sense of obligation to deliver on the priorities of the British people. The Scottish Prime Minister, she went home to see her mother or something. People saw it and also accused her of breaking the lockdown. Uh. At that time, the lockdown was very serious, actually. Mm -hmm. At that time, when the pandemic was first coming, it was more serious. So she apologized openly on air. Uh. She said, I'm kicking myself. I'm really sorry. And they forgive her. Oh, oh yes. that's good. This is no big deal, man. That's true. Yes, Master. They're human. They're not killing anybody. They're not stealing anything. Yes, Master. Just employing the wrong person. Just has to fight him. Yes. That's all he has to do. He didn't have to resign. He's a very good prime minister for England. Yes, he yes. is. Yes. And he has made a very good deal for Hong Kong people for the transition between uh, the British governing and the Chinese. Oh, yes, that's right. And the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has sent a strong message by allowing up to three million people in Hong Kong who have British national overseas status because they were born before the territory returned to China to live and work in the UK for longer. We made clear, Mr Speaker, that if China continued down this path, we would introduce a new route for those with British national overseas status to enter the UK, granting them limited leave to remain with the ability to live and work in the UK and thereafter to apply for citizenship. And that is precisely what we will do now. He made a very good deal and he has been a good prime minister. But the real sins, the real crimes he committed, you want to know? Oh uh, Yes, Minister, please. Nobody mentioned it. Number one, he keeps going to Kiev. <laughs> to support democracy government over there. Yes, yes, Master. And promising to give more and more support, more and more military equipment and all that. Yes, yes. Master. Not only promise, but give. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, and supporting them financially. And, of course, supporting Ukraine to go into the European Union easily. Uh, yes, yes, Master. Right. Yes. Very supportive. Uh-huh. Yes, Master. So he's really pro-democracy and pro-Ukraine. That is a justified country to go into the European Union. Yes, definitely. Yes, and not pro-Russia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how dare he. I'm glad to bid welcome in Kiev, uh, in our capital, to our friend, a friend of the entire Ukraine and uh, the friend of freedom, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister. This is your second visit, Boris, to Kiev after the uh, after 24th of February, the beginning of the full-scale invasion by the Russian Federation to our soil. And I am grateful to you for this attention to our country, uh, to all our people, to our country, and to your leadership and uh, the unparalleled support by the United Kingdom to Ukraine. And I thank Boris for his uh, uh, commitment. Thank you uh, for having me once. It's great to be back here again in, in Kiev and uh, to, see, to see you, but to also to see how life is coming back to the streets, to the cafes, to the restaurants. It's much livelier, I think, than it was just a few weeks ago when you and I went on our impromptu uh, walkabout, uh, Vladimir. But we've got to face the fact that only a couple of hours away, uh, 
a barbaric assault continues on entirely innocent people. Towns and villages are being reduced to rubble. And as you rightly say, Vladimir, we continue to see the deliberate targeting of civilians, what is unquestionably a war crime, and in a hideous echo of the past, the illegal deportation of people that the uh, Russian forces believe are insufficiently sympathetic to Putin's aggression. And in these circumstances, we can only once again salute the heroism of the Ukrainian forces, the bravery of your, of your armed forces. And in these circumstances, Volodymyr, I completely understand why you and your people can make no compromise with Putin. So, Volodymyr, we're here once again to underline that we are with you to give you the strategic endurance that you will need. And we are going to continue to help intensify the sanctions on Putin's regime. We're going to do everything we can to continue to strengthen the diplomatic coalition of support around the world uh, for Ukraine. And I completely understand and sympathize with the need for continued financial support uh, for Ukraine. We're going to work together to liberate the, uh, the grain, as you rightly say, that is being held hostage right now uh, by, by Putin, depriving people around the world of the, the food that they need. And of course, we will continue, as we have from the beginning, to provide the military equipment that you need, and now, of course, the training that may be necessary to go with that, uh, with that new equipment, so that you, the Ukrainian people, the Ukrainian armed forces, uh, will be able to do what I believe Ukrainians yearn to do, and that is to expel the aggressor from Ukraine. And we will work together with you and with our partners to rebuild your wonderful country for the benefit of Ukrainians and, I might say, for the benefit of the whole of the global economy. Thank you for having me again to, to Kiev. It's always, you. always wonderful uh, to be here. And uh, Slava Ukraini. Here I am, Slava. That's the first crime. Oh, yes. yes. You know another second crime? What's the second one, Master? You want to know? Yes, please, please, Master. Please, please tell us. Say please again. Oh, please, please, Master. master. <laughs> the second crime is also very, very serious. That he advised his people not to eat meat. Oh, oh. that's why. Even openly. I think in the future we will move away from eating as much. I think that already where we science is developing um, meat substitutes that are basically engineered in the lab aren't they that are very like meat and and you won't be able to tell the difference between a, a bioengineered hamburger and a yeah I'm serious and a, and, a, and a real hamburger and that will be the future very very soon I mean it's already here I think it is, definitely. And I think there's also things we could do to mix up our meals, maybe a bit less meat and put some beans in. It could still be really tasty, yes. uh, but great for our climate. Some newspapers even mocked him for saying that. Yes, yes Master. So these two serious crimes, ay, ay, ay. how can they forgive him? Yes, Master. Understand. He dared to go against the big corporations like the meat industry. All right. Yes, yes Master. He dared to go against Russia and support democracy 
and giving as much as possible protection to the Ukrainian people and their country. Oh, yes, Master. These two crimes, I don't know if they can ever pardon him. <laughs> yes, Master. But if I were him, I would not quit. He should continue to serve his country, even if it is hard work. Cause all the colleagues to come back and fire that guy only, the one and only. Right, yes, yes Master. Master. And make it up again and apologize for the party, whatever party that was. Yes, Master. Man, they're working in the same office. How can they not come? They often have to go to him and do some work anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. So if it's his birthday, they would just come. Yes, yes master. master. And maybe they bring their own Coca-Cola or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, because he didn't intend to make any parties or probably didn't have much just the cake that somebody innocently or sincerely gave to him. <laughs> yes, yes master. master. Yeah, poor guy. I would not resign if I were him. Tell him to walk back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because he's good for England and good for the world as well, good for democracy. Yes, mm. for sure. Yes, true, Master. His Excellency Boris Johnson's Domestic Achievements National Health Service England's workforce has added 25,000 nurses since 2019. Over 13,500 police officers have been hired in England and Wales as of March 2022. The Police, Crime, Sentencing and Courts Act 2022, among other measures, ends the automatic early release of offenders deemed to be a danger to the public. In 2022, the government instituted the largest single personal tax reduction in a decade, a tax cut worth £6 billion for 30 million workers across the country, with 2.2 million citizens lifted out of paying personal tax altogether. As part of a £37 billion government package, over 8 million low-income households will receive at least £1,200 in 2022 to ease cost-of-living issues. The Prime Minister launched a new mortgage programme to aid first-time home buyers that vastly reduces the needed deposit and could create 2 million new homeowners. Various animal people protection laws have been implemented, including the Animal Welfare Sentience Act 2022. His national food strategy will require schools, prisons and hospitals to offer a vegan meal option. Mr Johnson introduced plans to end the sale of gasoline-powered vehicles and add four times current offshore wind power capacity by 2030 and committed to lessen the UK's carbon emissions by 78% by 2035. His Excellency Boris Johnson's International Achievements The Prime Minister secured a Brexit agreement with the European Union Mr. Johnson signed trade deals with Australia, New Zealand and Turkey. He has vocally supported Ukraine and championed President Zelensky on the world stage after Russia's invasion. His government is providing military, humanitarian and economic support of £3.8 billion to Ukraine in 2022. The UK's military aid to Ukraine will purchase among other things, sophisticated air defence systems, uncrewed aerial vehicles, innovative new electronic warfare equipment and vital items needed by Ukrainian soldiers. The UK is offering a comprehensive new training program to the Ukrainian armed forces. Approximately 3,000 British soldiers have been sent to Estonia to defend the nation from a possible Russian attack. Mr Johnson introduced plans to end the UK's import of Russian oil and coal by the end of 2022 and his government is banning the export of certain goods to and new investments in Russia. He has offered up to 3 million Hong Kong residents the chance to settle in the UK and ultimately apply for citizenship. Mr Johnson is not only good for England but good for the world. Yes, yes Mr. He's one of uh, the members of the positive force. Mm. Yes. Right. And uh, concerning if uh, some of his colleagues quit, then he can just ask them to come back. If they quit, ask them to come back. Yes, yes Master. Explain and apologize. Ask them to come back. And if they don't come back, then just hire new ones. Mm. Yes, that's right. It may be better. Uh -huh. Yes, Master. It may be better. Yeah. Because if some people don't have enough intelligence and understanding, then maybe just hire someone else. That's it. Understand. I would if I were him. 
Yes, yes Master. Master. Uh, I hope he will rethink it. Hope so. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, man, what war. But you should know, this war is full of negative power and negatively influenced people. All right, you happy with my answer? Yes, yes thank yes, you Master. very much, Master. You think it's correct or not? You can argue with me if you don't like it. You're 100% I correct, Master. I wish he would stay. Uh, yeah. I hope you don't resign. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> he should stay, but maybe it's too late for me to say anything. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he wants to stay also because too much pressure. Oh, yes, yes, Master. Once they want your seat, they will find anything to kick you, to kick you where it hurts. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. And then uh, personally, behind uh, the curtain, they will one by one take out your colleagues. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, Master. Murmuring things. Yes, Master. Mm. Oh, oh, this is a negative power. But I told you a long time ago, I remember. Down in street number 10 has some uh, hell gates. Oh, oh right. Hell road. Yes, Master. So it's not easy to work there. Yes, yes master. master. And Johnson was very strong in positive energy. Yes, Master. And he's supported by positive energy. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. But like Trump, this world doesn't support good people. Yes, Master. They find any excuse, anything at all, or try every way to kick you out. Yes, Master. Yes. I told you already before that the White House and Downing Street, they have these hell roads. That's yes, right. Master. Yeah, okay. What else? Is there anything else from England? Yes, Master. Um, the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth, has accepted the new Animal Welfare Sentients Act 2022, oh. which designates animal people as sentient beings. That includes invertebrate animal people, such as octopus and lobster people. Mm -hmm. So when the legislature creates laws, they have to keep in mind that the animal people are sentient. Yeah. Bravo. Your Majesty. Bravo. Yes, Master. <laughs> it's good for England, good for the world, and good for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Good that she signed it. Yes, Master. Yes. Good that she made it into law. It's very, very beautiful. It's good that the queen also realizes that the animal people are truly sentient beings and really are good for the world. Just suppose someone uses force to take away her treasured dogs or her horses. My God, and she just helplessly stands by and cannot do anything. I think the queen would understand that feeling. Yes, yes Master. Master. So I truly pray that the government of England would carry out her signed, compassionate bill and stop all these animal people industry, even the laboratory tests, even cosmetic tests, not just to talk about normal domestic abuse of animal people or in the slaughterhouse or in the animal people raising factory. Please, God, help all of us, help all the countries to realize that animals, people, are also sentient beings, just like us. They feel everything we feel, and they do help us in many ways that they can. That's why when we see an animal person, even if they're not our pet, just looking from afar, <laughs> the duck or maybe geese or even a little bird that we don't even... No, we feel such a love for them and from them because heaven are with them inside. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. That's why if we harm them in any way, or worst of all, kill them to eat, then we will be punished individually and or collectively. I know I talk about that many times already, but we can never talk enough about it. But I just hope the government of England will follow her advice. Otherwise, <laughs> what the use is saying you protect animal people. And there are sentient beings that have feelings. Sentient beings include the humans. Mm, yes, right, Master. Master. We are called sentient beings also. So they are equal to humans. That's why I ask uh, all of you to call them people. They are animal people. Yes, mm. Master. All oh, right. Yes, Master. So what was the use of uh, declaring the law and giving penalties? to animal people, abusers, but all the animal people are still killed in the slaughterhouse. Yes, yes, mm, that's, that's right. true. And in a torturous way, in a very inhumane way, 
so that the meat will come to their table. Yes, mm, yes, right, Matthew, they still eat meat. Yeah, if they eat meat, then animal people will continue to be tortured anyway. Mm, that's true. Yes, that's true. Yes, Master. Yes. If somebody drags you out and you know that they're going to kill you, isn't that already mental torture? Oh, oh yes, definitely. Sure. And then do all kinds of things to make you die. Yes, yes master. master. Is that really humane? No, no, no not, not at all. Is that lawfully protecting the animal people? No, mm, master. no master. Of course not. 201 countries and regions have animal people protection laws, including the United Kingdom. UK animal people laws. The Pet Animals Act 1951, as amended in 1983, this protects the welfare of animal people sold as companions. It requires any person keeping a pet shop to be licensed by the local council. Animal Boarding Establishments Act 1963 Facilities boarding other cat and dog people companions are to be licensed based upon the suitability of the accommodations and whether the animal persons are well fed, exercised and protected from disease and fire. Riding Establishments Act 1964 and 1970 Riding establishments are licensed on the basis of the suitability of the applicant or manager, the accommodation and pasture, adequacy of the provision for the horse person's health, welfare and exercise, and the facility's precautions against fire and disease. Wild Mammals Protection Act 1996 The law safeguards wild mammals from certain cruel acts and related actions. Hunting Act 2004 this prohibits using dog people to chase wild mammals in England and Wales, thus outlawing this practice in activities such as fox, deer, and hare person hunting. Animal Welfare Act 2006 The Act applies in England and Wales, has various animal people protections, and recognizes vertebrates as sentient beings. Animal person caregivers must provide sufficient food and water, veterinary treatment, a suitable living environment. Those engaged in acts of cruelty may be given a lifetime ban on caring for animal individuals, sentenced up to five years in jail, fined up to £20,000. Substantially similar legislation applies in other countries, namely the Animal Health and Welfare Scotland Act 2006 and the Welfare of Animals Act Northern Ireland 2011. Wild Animals in Circuses Act 2019 This legislation bans the use of wild animal people in circuses in England, with Scotland and Wales having comparable laws that outlaw their exhibition. The Animal Welfare Service Animals Act 2019 The Act prevents those who attack or injure service animals, like police dog or horse persons, from claiming self-defense. Animal Welfare Sentencing Act 2021 The maximum prison sentence for animal people cruelty was raised from 6 months to 5 years for some violations of the Animal Welfare Act 2006. Offenders can also receive an unlimited fine. Animal Welfare Sentience Act 2022 The government must acknowledge the sentience of animal people when creating laws and establish an Animal Sentience Committee to analyze whether any policy may infringe upon the welfare of animals as sentient beings. So I hope the government of England listens to her advice and just does it rightly. Yes, yes Master. No more animal people rising, no more animal people torturing and killing. Any kind at all. Just let them in peace. Yes, mm, yes, Master. Master. And no more even inseminating the animal people and then taking the kids away from the cow people to get milk. It's the same. It's, it's all torturous actions. Yes, yes Master. It's all inhumane. It's not fit for a civilized society. Yes. Mm, yes. And even uh, P Prince Charles mm. he used to run an organic Dutchy home farm, but he also reared uh, rare pig people for meat. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> they call it organic. Yes. I <laughs> believe that. But he, but he doesn't have it anymore, right? Uh, that's right, that's right. But he is still operating the newer Sandringham farm. Uh -huh. And it's also organic. Uh, he grows a diverse range of crops, but he has sheep people on the land to have lamb meat. He also rents uh, the farm to tenant farmers and also lets out the land to businesses 
that deal with pig people and poultry. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And he has lambs and pig people? You know that still? Yes, yes. You don't know Prince Charles loves to eat lamb? Yes, Master. He's famous. He loves meat. Lamb, for example. Yes, Master. Lamb. But he also reduced a little bit of meat nowadays. He says something like one day a week or two days a week, you know, no meat. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Well, I hope he just makes it seven days a week. Yes, Master. Why two days? Huh? And if he doesn't have a farm officially, but he still has lambs and pig people and eats from that, then uh, what's the use? Yes, Master. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just like uh, putting the blame on someone else only. Yes, Master. Right, Master. The problem is that most governments and leaders don't walk the talk they should. Right, Master. Because if they don't, then people have no respect for them. And it's very difficult to rule or to have even uh, foreign diplomacy without respect. Yes, yes Master. Right, Master. If you walk the talk, people have more respect for you and you do things in a better way. Mm, yes. It will have more success, better, smoother. The path you walk, the way you do things will be smoother, more peaceful, and more successful. Mm. Yes. Yes, Master. But I think we have talked about this some other time already. I said that people, the lawmakers, they sign the law bills Mm -hmm. saying you have to protect animal people, cannot make them suffer, cannot make them fear, cannot uh, make them uncomfortable in any way, but, you know... They are chaining animal people, snake to to their crates. Right. Or the crate is just as big as their body. Yes. Yes. My God. Even humans, you know, the worst criminals, if they have a solitary cell, is not that small. Mm, That's right. right. These pig people, you can see it on our Supreme Master television. Sometimes they show the, the crates of the pig people. It's just as big as their body. That's it. Yes. yes, Master. No, no room Horrible. to move or turn around. No, nothing. Yes. Mm-hmm. They're just laying in there. Yes, Master. And some don't have crates, but uh, squeeze together and uh, sleeping on urine and their own feces. And how people will even eat that, I don't know. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yuck. That's, yes. yes, it's terrible. If you know about that, you wouldn't want to eat it. No, not no. at all. How yes. can there be any hygiene there? Mm. No. If you soak yourself in urine and feces... Would you like that? No, no master. master. Even soak the, the pig on the animal people all day long, you know, 24-7 in feces and urine. Mm. Sometimes they wash them all off for them. It is new. Then again, same. Mm. Yes, yes master. master. Every day like that. And they are eating this urine soaked and feces soaked meat. Yes. yes, yes. Our footage also shows numerous potential food safety issues, such as animals with prolapsed organs being processed for food as well as countless pig carcasses riddled with pus-filled abscesses and covered in feces. God, no wonder they cannot do anything good. Not much. Right, yes, Master. Mm. Sometimes the pig people have piglets and there's no room and they will end up laying on top of the piglets and killing them. Yeah, I know. I know. They can't even feed them. Yes, Master. Mm, yes, Master. And lay in, in field and feed in the piglets. And they eat the piglets, too. Yes. Sometimes they eat the piglets instead of the big ones because the thing is more tender or whatever. Yes, yes master. master. My God, what kind of people are eating feels like that mm. and still call themselves humans and humane humans? God, I'm too lazy to talk about all this. If it was not for my compassion for these poor, helpless animal people, I wouldn't want to do anything anymore. I wouldn't even want to talk to any humans anymore. Mm-hmm. Yes, Master. <laughs> and I wouldn't even do any Supreme Master television anymore. Yes, yes Master. Master. It seems like helpless, hopeless. Okay, any more questions? Anything else you want to tell me? Uh, that's all we have, Master. That's good then. That's enough for now. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. <laughs> Everything else is also no good anyway. The whole world. If you read the news, there's not much good in it. Mm, not at all, right, Master. Master. <sighs> okay, then. You go take a rest or so continue doing whatever. I still have a lot of work. Okay, huh? Yes, yes Master. Master. Uh, talk to you next time. God love. Yes, oh. Master. Thank you Thank for you. calling Thank us, Master. 
most benevolent master our deep thankfulness for reminding us of the righteous actions we all must take and supporting those working for the positive power, explaining why they should not retreat when challenged by the negative. We hope and pray His Excellency Boris Johnson rethinks his decision and continues his good governance of the United Kingdom for the benefit of his country and the world. May the UK quickly become more animal people friendly by following its already established laws and replacing all brutal activities against them by promoting the benevolent vegan lifestyle. Wishing compassionate master peace and safety forever in the loving protection of all magnificent heavens. Please tune in for the full broadcast of this conference on Between Master and Disciples at a later date. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous related Fly-In News or Between Master and Disciples conferences such as Fly-In News The Story of Master Confucius and Xiang Tuo Governments Should Be Pro-Life and Promote Veganism There Are No Excuses for Invading a Country, etc. To view these and more related Fly-In News and Between Master and Disciples conferences, please visit suprememastertv.com and search for the UK must follow its laws 